Hey everybody, welcome back to Gideon Stuff. Uh, today we've got a review of this pin here. This is the Larry Titanium Bolt Action Pin. This is a pin I bought almost, well, geez, I think it was eight, nine months ago. Focus up your camera. What's going on? And I, anyways, I've had it for a long time and carrying it and using it. And uh, yeah, it's it's time to review it. I don't typically review pins, but we're gonna do it today. Um, yeah, what, do we want to do any size comparisons? I, I I really don't know. Let's here, let's do a measurement. Length coming in at four and three quarter inches. If you guys can even see that. There you go. It's kind of a schmedium pin. Uh. Rat 2. <laughs> uh, I need to figure out what I'm going to do for pin comparisons. And um, here's a pencil out of my pocket. This is a Bic Velocity. I love pencils. I carry a lot of pencils, so, so there you go. Uh, I've been carrying this pin a lot. I, I've used this quite extensively for class. I've used this out in the field. Um, yeah, let's talk about what I, what I think of it. So, number one, I think it's a good size. Uh, I, I do enjoy it. Um, it writes... I don't know if you guys can see that. Whoa, I, always, I, I remind myself of Nick Shabazz. He, he does, when he does his pin reviews, he writes like, hi guys, Nick here. Right here, hi guys. Gideon here. There we go. Um, the action is fairly smooth and it's gotten even smoother uh, the more I've carried it. So I enjoy that. The pocket clip works well in and out of the pocket. It's pretty clippy and nice. We've got a little bit of milling here, which is good. This pin is made out of titanium, which is interesting, um, or which is which is good. Here's the, <laughs> Ooh. it came in this little tin, which is cool, right? Presentation case. And it did come with extra recharges with extra refills. Now these are Pilot G2 refills, I believe. What has happened here? So one of them did explode. Have the others exploded now? I don't know. You know what? I am not going to get into that because that looks like a disaster waiting to happen. We're just going to, to set those there. But yes, it comes with three refills. One in the pin and then three in that little baggie. I think that's cool, right? I like getting refills because I'm someone who always forgets to go and buy refills for my pins. Um, but yeah, there we go. This pin is very lightweight. It writes fine. Um, yeah, moving on to some negatives. So I showed this pin to the dad of a friend of mine, if he happens to be watching this. How are you doing? Um, and he said that just the way he wrote, he found it to be unergonomic. Un I don't know what it is about dads and pins. My dad loves pins. I've met so many dads that love pins, but he didn't like the ergonomics of it too much. He said that the way he, he wanted to hold it naturally, this thing dug into his, his hand. So, you know, there's that to take into consideration. Another thing too, I noticed that, you know, I'd carry this a lot and I carried it out in the field. So I was doing like stupid stuff, you know, climbing on rocks and things, but I noticed that sometimes this would screw off and I'd be like, Oh no, the pin's falling apart. Another negative. Yeah. One of the refill, one of the, or one of the cartridges I had in here exploded while I was using it. That, that wasn't fun. Um, and another thing about this pin is I have seen this design everywhere. So I bought this from a brand called Larry, but I've seen this pin from a lot of other brands, including Tucson, you know, the exact same design. So I, I don't know what's going on there. I suspect Chinese OEM shenanigans, uh, but I, I can't really speak to that. Final conclusions. So I picked up this pin for like 20 bucks. And for that price, I think it's really good. I don't have a whole lot of complaints with it. Again, I'm not really super picky with my pins. Um, this thing works really well for me. I'd use it in um, my labs for taking notes. I, I'd use it in the field for taking notes. I mean, what else do you use a pin for, uh, right? But you know, it always it always served me well. I do like the size. It's compact enough to not be in the way, but it's also small enough to you know be easy to use. Um, I carry this pin with me pretty much every day. And I've, you know, I don't really have a whole lot of problems with it. <laughs> I 
I need to review more pins, I guess. Um, you know, maybe if I get something like a like a tactile turn, I'll, I'll know, you know, just how bad this is. But for me, this is a this is a nice pin. Um, it does feel better than like some pins that you can just like buy at Walmart, like you know the plasticky Bic pins or whatever. This feels a little more. It's a little it's a little fancier. You make yourself feel a little bit better about carrying it. Um, but yeah, you know, and, and it's a cheap pin, so you're not out a whole lot. Yeah, I need to review more pins. I've, I've been carrying and using this item for nine months. And if it was a knife, this video would be like an hour and a half long. But it's a pin. And this video is going to be like six minutes if I'm lucky. So <laughs> I, 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 I don't have a whole lot to say. Um, for me, it worked just fine. It's a functional pin. It'll get you through your day. It's probably not the fanciest thing out there. And there's probably some design borrowing shenanigans behind the scenes but you know what it's a 25 dollar titanium pin off of amazon it, it's it's fine so there we go there's our pin review <laughs> uh feel free to tell me in the comments below um how unprofessional and weird this review was let me know what i could do better <laughs> and um if you guys have any pin recommendations send them my way because I don't know. A pin is a tool that I use every day, um, and I'm I'm constantly going through bad pins. And so I, there is something to be said for me wanting to find a good, solid, reliable pin. And this has been a good one, right? Nine months in, this is this has been a good one. If you guys have any recommendations too, though, I'd love to hear them. Maybe one day I'll become a pin snob the same way I'm a knife snob. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video somehow, leave a like, comment below, and subscribe. I've been Gideon, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.